Welcome to Sandbox8.com. I'm here at the 2010 PGA Merchandise Show Outdoor Demo Day. I'm here with John Carson over here at the Ping booth, and John's going to walk us through some of the new Ping G15 and uh, hybrids and drivers. Okay, I've got a G15 driver here. We're really excited about this new driver. Um, I guess most exciting is just the test results we've seen on. So it's got a lot of great technology, kind of an external weight here to raise the MOI of the club. It's got a larger face, give you a larger spring-like area, get high ball speed all over the face. But the test results have just been terrific. Uh, we compared it to our G10, which won gold, you know, on the hot list, won a lot of awards out there. Um, and it beat it. We did a nine position uh, test on the club face with the ping man. All nine positions, ball speed was up, launch angle was up, spin rate was down, and then overall distance improved. On average, um, nine yards in all the different positions, six yards in the center. One spot we actually picked up 30 yards on. So just seeing a lot longer, also a lot more consistent because it does have that high MOI. So this produces a really high launch uh, in terms of like a ball flight? What we're looking for in a driver is high launch, low spin, uh, depending on the skill level of the golfer. So if you've got high swing speeds, spin becomes kind of the limiting factor on your uh, distance. If you've got a slower swing speed, launch angle affects it more. Um, but for everybody, it's usually you know, low spin, high launch is going to be better. Um, it just depends how hard you're hitting it, which one's going to affect it more. And then ball speed, obviously, the faster the ball's going off the club face, the further it's going to go. So tell me about the, the G15 hybrid. So the hybrid is a really unique design for us. So we try to design from a, a knowledge base is kind of our philosophy. So we kind of put all our knowledge together on CG, MOI, and what a hybrid's really meant to do. And we kind of realized that there was a lot of opportunity in there by putting some offset in there, getting a hosel in there like an iron has, because a hosel does provide a lot of heel weighting. So now we can offset that weighting with a large weight that's in the toe of this golf club. And by having the offset, the CG is actually further back from the shaft. So it's going to help turn the club over because it has a lot of weight in the toe, which wants to leave it open. But by adding offset, it's able to close it up, hit the ball square. <laughs> but then the CG is actually pretty close to the face, so that's going to help with your spin rate. So you're not going to hit a floater hybrid, you're going to have a boring hybrid that's going to really go out there and give you a proper distance and kind of land where you want it to land. So kind of not a lot of extra carry on when it lands, so to speak? or. No, well, what we're trying to avoid is just the floaters. If you're hitting it into the wind, you hit your hybrid 210, all of a sudden you hit a 180 because the wind just got underneath it. Knocks it down, yeah, exactly. So what we're trying to do is avoid that. Now, also, the MOI is up about 40% from the G10 hybrid, which was a high MOI hybrid. So it's really forgiving. We had some ping man tests where we hit it, once again, in multiple positions, and we improved the dispersion by 70%. So it just really came down when you hit it all over the face because of that high MOI. MOI. So for the average consumer, this would be a nice logical evolution from if you were playing like G10s, would you want, you'd want to maybe upgrade to the G15? Yeah, I d I've already made the upgrade. I, I definitely would say you know, between the driver, the fairway wood, and the hybrids, there's all noticeable differences that you'll actually see out on the golf course going from the G10 to the G15. Excellent. Um, what about fitting options for, for both of these drivers? Uh, we've got a lot of fitting options. That's where we really shine. Um, you know, testing against our competitors, we do we do good. We you tend to win the test. But what the the big difference is is you know you see small differences there because that's not a fitting environment. That's a here's a nine degree driver. Hit this one. You know, hit a competitor nine degree driver and see what the difference is. That's not a true fitting. So what we optimize it to say you know we can get you the right shaft dial in so you have the right loft and you know it's all about getting that launch angle and the spin rates right and a driver and you know loft is the big lever and then you fine tune it with the shaft and then as you get into like iron fitting that's where people you know it's the difference between hitting the green and making a par and missing the green and making a bogey or worse and by adjusting the lie angle so you're hitting the ground right getting the right shaft in there <laughs> And then making sure the lofts are right for your game so you're not, you know, hitting the ball too high, hitting it too low. That's where we really shine is making clubs for the individual through our fitting process. Well, great, John. Thanks a lot for your time. I really appreciate it. And um, these are available now? Yeah, G15 is available now. Everything's current. We custom fit and ship it out to you in 48 hours. So you get you go in, get fit. We custom build it to your exact specs. And you, the goal is for you to have it out there the next weekend to go play golf with it. Great. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Thank you.